Welcome to the new economics of cotton. I want you to think about what you put on this morning. How do you look? How do you feel? Pretty good, I hope. Because the choices that we make as consumers will have a profound effect on how we live our lives in the future. And if you think about the concept of greenwashing, where everything's through some sort of a colored lens, we ask ourselves, are we doing everything that we can? And the answer usually is, is we're not. And that's one of the reasons why the consequences of the decisions that we make today will have lasting and permanent effect on our planet. Cotton as an agricultural product has been with humans since the beginning of recorded history, and it touches every human being on Earth every day. The apparel and fashion industry uses over 60% of all the cotton grown today. And cotton is good. It's color fast, breathable, comfortable, a naturally occurring fiber that's fully biodegradable and it's got great utility as a fabric. That's why we make it into towels and t-shirts, socks, underwear, hooded sweatshirts. But cotton has a dark side too. Almost 25% of the global use of pesticides is just for the cotton crop. And most people don't know this, but it can take up to 2,000 liters of fresh water just to make one pair of men's boxer shorts. Also, Hard to believe that half a pound of fertilizer is required to grow one pound of cotton fiber. And almost 3% of all the arable land on the Earth's surface is used for just growing cotton. And most shockingly, in the production of cotton textiles, up to 40% of virgin cotton fiber is lost in just the production of cotton yarn. But cotton has an ugly side too. Harvesting in many places is still performed by local disadvantaged people. And the trillions of gallons of water used to grow cotton could save millions of lives in areas where there's limited access to fresh water. And the up to 40% of production waste in the making of cotton textiles usually just gets landfilled and further pollutes the local water system. And even though we're trying to recycle clothing, the simple fact is only 1% on average actually becomes brand new cotton textiles. And then finally, the diversion of water for the cotton crop has basically destroyed entire ecosystems and turned that land into barren wasteland. And the harsh truth is, is this, post-consumer recycling programs simply do not work. You know, these are tough questions, and the answers are even harder to come by. And the ever-evolving e-consumer will hold this industry accountable. And it's not like nobody cares. I mean, everybody's making a commitment. Big corporations have all pledged to a zero-waste, zero-carbon footprint, or a carbon-neutral business in a line, in many cases, with the Paris Accords. And corporations that make a pledge need to know that they are being watched. The leading environmental groups are rating companies based upon their sustainable cotton commitments. And you'd be shocked at some of the names that are on the list of companies that have done absolutely nothing towards their pledge to a sustainable cotton supply chain. Frankly speaking, the change just isn't happening fast enough. But there's something that we can do that's an immediate solution to this problem, and it's called pre-cycling. It's called post-industrial pre-consumer waste abatement, and that is the definition of pre-cycled technology. And what does it all mean? It means there's a solution right now. And that solution is called e-cotton. It's 
the single word that the world will look for when thinking about responsible and sustainable cotton products. And what does it mean to make the e-cotton switch? The switch is where growers, textile manufacturers, cut and sew and fashion designers, retailers and consumers, all work together to create one holistic solution that equals sustainable cotton. The e-cotton process is advanced textile engineering, where cotton waste is collected from multiple industry sources and then classified and sorted into 17 different fiber types. The fibers are then opened using the patented e-cotton system, where they're then carded, slivered, and worked into premium length fibers and then made into virgin, clean cotton yarn, which ultimately becomes brand new cotton products like you expect every day in the marketplace. It's patented global textile technology that works, and that's what makes the e-cotton process possible. And the e-cotton results couldn't be any more exciting. It means less landfall usage, less chemical treatments, saves billions of gallons of water every day, and gives you the same virgin cotton product that consumers expect every day when shopping for their clothing and other cotton products. And all these benefits are at the same or lower cost of traditional, non-sustainable virgin cotton fabric. Simply put, you get the green for free. And the e-cotton bottom line is, is this, that towel you're using and the t-shirt you're wearing used to be 100% textile industry trash. And using the e-cotton process, we've converted it into brand new virgin cotton textiles that you can enjoy every day and know that you've done your part to sustain the planet. China, India, and the United States comprise over 80% of the total worldwide cotton crop which is reason why we selected India for the first implementation of the e-cotton factory process. But you know what seems crazy? That we grow cotton in the United States, bale it up and truck it to a port. Then we load the cotton fiber into containers, put it on a ship and send it over to countries like India and others. where in those countries, fashion and cut and sew companies turn the cotton fiber into textiles and finished products that we consume in the United States and in the Western world. Then we load those finished goods onto container ships, ship them back to the United States and other Western countries where they ultimately go to a retail store and end up in our closets. The reason that we go through this carbon releasing massive effort is because basically we decommissioned the US textile industry and offshored it. We should at least at minimum consider reshoring the textile industry and building this business back in the United States or at minimum USMCA countries. And whether it's with foreign partners or our own industry, we should bring textile production home. But unfortunately, those things take time. And frankly, we don't have a lot of time to waste. Therefore, we created eConnection. During COVID, bringing the message and the merchandise together on the mobile device happened much quicker for consumers than people expected. Now that this mobile technology transformation is complete, for the first time, consumers can inspect what they expect from clothing manufacturers. Using advanced counterfeit abatement technologies in mobile, precision camera capture technologies and utilities, and source DNA testing of cotton fiber, we can now 
move all technologies together to a single mobile application where consumers can be confident in knowing that the garment that they're purchasing is made 100% from sustainable e-cotton. In the new economy, you're either first or you're forced. There really isn't a third option. And our legendary eco-ambassadors are getting ready to spread the word about e-cotton. Join our global ambassador of truth, Ice-T. Let's make the world a better place for our kids and our neighbors by supporting the e-cotton movement. With your help, we will revolutionize the cotton products industry for good and begin the process for real change in how we treat our world. We thank you for your time and we hope to hear from you real soon.